I'm going to be sharing today what's called muscle energy technique. And it is a way to adjust your pelvis if you have a rotation in your pelvis. Basically, if one side of the pelvis gets rotated forward and the other side gets rotated backwards. Okay, so the way to do this, you want to first figure out which leg is acting longer, right? So there's two ways to do this. The first is that you can come sit against a wall and then look at your ankle bones and just see which ankle bone is shifted more forward. Or it tends to be my left that goes a little bit more forward. If you do this and you like can't really see it, maybe get somebody to come look for you that can help. Uh, the other thing that you could do is come uh, in front of a mirror and maybe you would pull your pants down, right? And draw two little dots on your ASIS bones and see which one is lower in the mirror. That's the leg, that's the longer leg that I'm gonna be referring to. So find the leg that is acting longer and then you're going to come against a wall and you're going to need a block and ideally if you have it a partner, <laughs> which I don't have, so I'll do my best, but I'll, I'll tell you what to do with a partner. I'm gonna use this band too because I don't have a partner. So there's three steps to it. The first is we have our legs against the wall, one leg is pushing, one leg is pulling. Then legs come down, we're gonna squeeze a block, then we are going to push our legs apart. Those are the three steps, so let's walk through them. First step, coming down, feet on the wall, 90-90 position. What you're going to do, I can't push very hard because this is actually my washing machine, <laughs> but the longer leg is going to push into the wall while the shorter leg pushes into your hand. So you push with all your might, push that long leg into the wall, push this leg into your hand. This foot can come away from the wall when you're doing that. You're gonna push and you're count, count to five. One, two, three, four, five, then let it relax. Rest for a moment, do it again. One, two, three, four, five, do it again. Try to make sure that you're pushing and pulling evenly. I tend to forget to push. I tend to do more work on this side where I'm pushing into the hand than into the wall. So try to make it really balanced. Last one, one, two, three, four, five. So three of those. Then bring your legs back down to the floor. Take your block. Block comes in between the legs. Now we're going to squeeze the legs as much as we can with the block. So squeeze the legs together for one, two, three. Let it go. I got a little pop there again. One two, three, let it go. Last one, one, two, three, let it go. Okay, now this third part, as I said, it's best with a partner. What your partner will do, say it's your husband, your spouse, right? Have them come kneel in front of you and just have them put their hands on either side of your knees because you're gonna push your knees out into their hands. So they're gonna be pushing as hard as they can you're gonna be pushing as hard as you can. If you don't have a partner around, you can do it by kind of crunching and doing it, but that takes a lot more work. It also requires core muscles. So the other option is if you have the exercise bands that I recommended for this course, take the heavy band, take it just above your knees, and then you shotgun out three times. So one, two, three, relax, one, two, three, relax, and one, two, three, relax. So that's it. Now, I don't love the band. I think it lets you go out a little bit further than you want to. So ideally, get someone else to push your legs so that they really are not coming much further apart than this, right? And you can do that for yourself, as I said, but you would have to be laying down to do it. It's just not quite as effective 
it's nice when your upper body can relax to do that. Then you can sit up, you can take a little look, see, oh, does it look any better? Basically, as I said, it's like a chiropractic adjustment. It uses when you're pushing the legs in opposite directions, it is engaging the hamstring on one leg and the quadricep on the other leg. And those muscles help rotate the pelvis back into the position that you are wanting them to be in. And then you use the adductors and the adductors. So it's using the muscles to shift the bones. So again, that is something to try. <laughs> it might not work for you. And if it doesn't, that's okay. Don't do it, okay? But I wanted to give it as an option for those of you who have this sense that your pelvis is rotated or you have a difference in your leg lengths.